how to tell you. Let me see. Let me tell you. Okay. <clears throat> Remember yesterday when I kept saying that for um, almost a month I was trying to do something? Mm -hmm. Okay. I couldn't do it because they didn't have any that I wanted. But now they have something that I want. And I think you guys will want it too. I'm going to show you in a second. Look how they look. I'm like, what? What is that? A kitty cat. A kitty cat. Yeah. So that's why we drove up here. And if they have it, we'll adopt her. <gasps> <Yay! laughs> Look at them. They are corrupt. Now you notice how I said her and the cat we have is a boy. You know, our, our homeboy Tyler. And that is because Tyler was not originally the cat we were going to get or what we really went there for. So I want you guys to check out this video to see and hear our testimony on how Tyler became our baby boy. You guys will really, really love that video. So after this vlog, head on over there. I got the little picture down in the left hand corner. Go to that, that video and get to see our testimony on how Tyler became our baby boy. <laughs> So how come we supposed to be on TV tomorrow? Um, we like to take a, a cat like every week. Oh. Just to be featured on TV. Oh. I told Lizzie, I'm like, he's on TV like us. And he's like dancing. Okay. Good morning. Here we go. I am running late today. Late to be um, setting up the camera to make the food for you guys. So I just popped the camera up and just showed you me packing it. They have their their Friday sensation. Good morning. Oh. It is time to wake up and come and eat breakfast. See? It's time for them to come out now. Watch Lizzie gonna be the first one. There's cereals over there. There they go. Who's first? Who's first? There she goes. She's first. Good morning. Good morning. I gotta come and get Grandpa up. Oh, oh, he was coming out the same time. But let me finish this too. I told y'all I was running late because this is always done. Done before they get up. So, um, I'll see you guys on the flip side. But that's their lunch. And this is gonna be their snack. Boom, boom. Y'all know they're gonna have water in here. And they're gonna be packed in here. Boom, boom, boom. See you on the flip side. I'm at the dealership. And I brought my work. You know what I do. And rooms to go. Oh, look at Cinderella. Look, ain't that precious? Look at all this stuff, y'all. All done. How you get out of here? Where's the door? I need the door. All done. Got something out of there. Can't tell you yet. 
Take my girl. Hello, what's up? We're going to Taekwondo. Yo! <laughs> I didn't unlock it yet. We just left church, y'all. We just left church. Look at the old lady. She went from a teenager to a grandma. Come my phone woke me up at three and then didn't go off at six. It's alarm, so it's actually set for five. So how come it's not, uh, how come it's not green? Wait, look at bedtime. Okay, so where's the three o'clock thing? I don't know, it just went off at three and I woke up. How sassy she was. That's your girl, always sassy. Oh, but just gonna show you what I had on for church. It's nothing special, it's just a shirt, some pants, and a cardigan. Oh, boom. That's what I wore to church today. I didn't even record before we left. So we're back home now. Good morning, y'all. I am recording this a little differently. It's kind of like I did the other day where I just show myself moving fast, putting the lunches together. Um, I know a lot of you guys love the lunch gathering put together type of thing. And then some people, just a small few, um, really could care less if I show it. <laughs> so what I want to do is I kind of want to make both of you happy. I want to get through showing it, but then I also want to show it. So it pleases two people, um, not two people, but two kinds of people. I'm so sorry this part is blurry. I didn't realize it until I start editing. Um, but I want to make this a little different for you guys. I'm also showing myself put the lunches in their backpacks and try to give you a little variety but also want to please as much as people as I as much people as I can um, I'm also going out and watering the grass I do this very early in the morning see how dark that is girl gotta water that grass early we in Texas can't have it fried no more now it is an hour later and I am off to send the kids to school Eddie's already in the car Lizzie my teenager taking a long time Y'all, I was really busy. Didn't record any more after I brought them to school. So this is the next day with the lunches for the next day. Yes, did it real fast. Hope your eyeballs was working good because I'm done showing the lunch. Now we are in the afternoon and I am practicing Taekwondo because your girl wants to get more of her tapes, okay? I got a test coming up and I'm not playing. This is my poop set, okay? I am ready and I am going to do what I need to do at Taekwondo. Shoo, don't play with me. Hey y'all. Um, it's not too bright, sorry. But I'm actually early. I'm looking to see if the class is over. The one, the class before mine. And then there's a lady in the car right next to me. She's not staring, but I could tell she feels uncomfortable. <laughs> like, you know, like, I wanna, I wanna look, but I don't wanna look like that. But y'all, I'm tired. And it's not, it's not sleepy tired, it's just, mentally tired i don't even know what to say or how to say it it's like i'm i'm always thinking for other people and i barely think for myself and i don't start thinking for myself or thinking about myself until i'm so stressed and then i'm like oh yeah i exist and then eddie is just ugh. He just misbehaves at school. And it's not just the school here. He's misbehaved since he started school. And I know, I know some people are like, well, you should get him, you should get Eddie tested. You should do this, this. Y'all, I've done it all. Y'all have to remember that you only see like two seconds of my life. And I don't share or show everything. So just remember that I've done everything. He knows how he can get his, how he can get these teachers wrapped around his finger. I'm like, you falling for it, you falling for it. And I always put him to the side when I first meet him, like this, 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 look out for it. And they just look at me like, 
okay. And then when they see him, like I told you, Deb, when I don't feel like myself, I don't vlog. Because I'm not the type of person that just records anything and everything with a big old smile on her face. And I'll take you here, take you there, take you there, and show you all this and just be grinning. And then, but really don't feel that way. I've done that before in Connecticut. Oh, and you just feel, you just feel like trash when you do that. You just feel fake. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting in the car and taking you here and there and there and smiling and grinning and acting silly and row and doing all that. I'm not doing that. I did it before and I didn't like it. There's times that I did that, recorded and deleted the footage, didn't even post it because I was like, that's not me. I'm not lying. I'm transparent. I'll show you the real deal. Um, I'm not taking you to 50 million places every day. Do you go to 50 million places every day? No, you don't. You go to work. You come home. You live your life. You do that. Okay. And that's what I do. Some people will tell me, well, Kim, take time to yourself and, and rest and don't vlog. You know I really want to do that and I do that too. But the thing is, it's my job. So it's just like if you're really stressed with life, let's say you're stressed with home life and you have you have a traditional 9 to 5 office job, but you're really really stressed with your home life or just stressed with something, whatever it is, you're stressed. You can't just stop going to work cuz you're stressed. You still got to go to work and I think a lot of people don't realize or get it through their head that social media is a job. And some people may think, well, then don't do social media. I can't do a nine to five anymore. I have my family relies on me. My kids, I can't work a traditional job. My kids need me during certain hours. I get called all the time for my job, from, not for my job, from that school. My mom needs me to not work. She needs me during the day. I can't do a nine to five. And I'm never, ever doing an overnight job again. That's what got me in this situation of epilepsy, doing that overnight job. So it's like a stress like that, like I'm needed all the time. That's why I took this this night um, Taekwondo. Because I've been doing Taekwondo since Mother's Day. But I was doing it the family class. And I was like, once again, I'm doing something for someone else. Because they, they, said, they said, stay in it with your kids to make them to make them comfortable and happy and I'm like no I don't care I'm doing a night job or not night job I'm doing the night um taekwondo like I just run away then there's this um women's um this women's event that I'm gonna go to this Friday I kept debating if I was gonna go or not and then my sister was like I would go and I sure am like I don't mind helping my mom of course I don't help, mind helping my children. I don't mind being there for my sister. But when my tank is on empty, it hurts. And then I feel guilty for complaining. Are they ending their class? Yeah, they're ending their class. So I'm gonna go inside of my class and I'm gonna get my other tape. Yes, I am. I got this, I got these two. I want my other red today. And I wouldn't mind having another green today, too. Oh, the class is ended. So let me go. I'm sorry this vlog was boring. I was just looking at the footage that I had. It was boring, y'all. But I'm going to be honest with you. Like, if we were, like, homegirls in real life, you would be sitting over here in my in my seat. Or I'd be sitting in the passenger seat of your car. And we'll just be talking, girl. Or we'll be on the phone. Or, or we'll be over each other's house watching TV eating snacks or ice cream and just talking whether we crying or laughing or being goofy so don't look at my blogs and be like oh she's sad again or oh she's complaining again girl you know that's what you do with your friends so don't you even play with me but let me go because i hear them calling people now and i i want to be in the front of the class hey y'all i'm sweating and it's after class I was there for like an extra 10 minutes or so. Um, and y'all, guess what? I took my belt off already. <laughs> but guess what? I got another tape. I got another tape. Actually, I got two more. As you can see. Bye!
But let me head on out of here because I could sit here for a long time just talking. But yeah, let me head on out of here. <clears throat> hey y'all, it's probably about 30 minutes later from um, when you guys saw me in the car. Hopefully the noise is not aggravating you, but your girl is at the gym. Yes, I am. Now you'll get to see what I look like outside of sweatpants. Yep, yep, I'm gonna go work out. Ooh, there's not a lot of people in there. I got my backpack. And as y'all can see, I am small, but I want to be toned and boom, and build up. I got a little booty. <laughs> but here we go. Let's go work out. in here all right now yep you heard right i am at the gym after taekwondo i had energy y'all and i had to release that energy it was more like a mental energy i don't know how to explain it but your girl just had to release stress so i went to the gym and worked out after taekwondo that's what i did <music> done oh man I don't know if y'all can see me now oh time to go home oh. Oh. yeah I am so tired oh man <laughs> I'm trying to breathe y'all so I'm gonna see y'all I see y'all back at the house I see you back at the house hey y'all <laughs> I'm about to go take a shower. Oh, I'm tired. Yes, I am. Um, what I want to do, build my quads and my calves, um, lift my little booty. <laughs> I want to flatten out my stomach and then do my arms. I always wear sweatpants, so you guys can't really tell my shape. because I've always got sweatpants on. Oh, and I know some of you guys may ask how much do I weigh? I weigh 154 and I am 5'10, like 5'9 and a half, 5'10. So let me go. See you in the next vlog, y'all. Peace.